story. So first we're going to look in this box. Okay. So I want that yellow. If they have some reaction when it's uh, when uh, the first when the first spin. And these rows first, and then that's what we're gonna check our results for. Now, what results are we looking for? I don't know. Tell me, because I'm not gonna say something and it's not true. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're gonna be looking for um, any line that is negative all the way through. All the way through. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, so on can... on the spin. What is what IS is I know I'm looking at this before. What IS IS stand for? Uh, immediate spin. So your immediate spin is going to be your IG. Uh -huh. So immediate spin. Uh, let me do that in a different color. Okay, so your immediate spin is going to be your IGMs, and we'll talk more about this later. And then your 37 is going to be generally your IGGs, and then your AHG a lot of time is going to be your clinically significant. So now the important thing to do first is um, like you would any other one, you go through and you find your row that's negative. So cell uh, row one, can you do anything with that row? We're gonna, we're gonna cancel. Let's you see. cancel the positives in a neg um, if your results are all negative. So which row can we work on first? Okay. Right here, I know that the, the D is automatically canceled, right? Yeah, D is not usually involved in this process, but for the sake of doing them, we can still do them. But which cell out of these, so like here's one, two, which one can you start canceling in? Let's do on the beginning. Okay, can you do anything with one though? Let me see. We're going to cancel the positive, you say? You can only cancel the positive, positive antibodies in a, if all your results are negative. Oh, okay. So, result. Negative. Yep. That's not working very well. But if your results it's, are negative, so, for example, I'll, I'll give you the first one. So, this first row, we can't do anything with because there's a one plus and a two plus in 37 and AHG. But oh, your okay. second row has negative, negative, and negative. And That's now if you're, if you, let's say if this one had the check cells row, like uh -huh. or a C, and it had a two plus, but all the others were negative, that would be okay. okay. So that doesn't count. Just in these three, these three rows here for initial spin or immediate spin, 37 and AHG. And so this is the first row that is um, all negative. So since it's all negative, we can come and mark off all the positives for that row. So the first positive would be what? The C, the big C. Yep. The and we'll mark C. off D just for the sake of doing D too. Okay, the D, okay. But, uh, yeah, we'll go through and do this first, and then we'll talk about homozygous versus heterozygous. Okay, okay. Then there's different story. Yeah, because I was trying to cancel, I guess, every single one. Let me. Yeah. <laughs> so, really, you would go through and normally just cancel them. Um, so, two, your next one would be N. Next one would be little s. P1. LEB, Solano and Duffier, 
and then um, your JKB. And so normally you would go through and do it that way. So uh -huh. cancel any positives um, in any row that your results are all negative. So you would oh, do okay. that for this row. You would do uh -huh. it for this row. And the second, and the third, and, and the fourth. Uh -huh. And the fourth one don't because you have a positive. Yes. So you're, you you can only do it anything with row two and three out of this one. So that's oh, the only okay. thing you can work with. Oh, okay. The rest of these won't help you. Okay. Because you can only oh. do rows two and three because these are your only negatives. Mm-hmm. Your only negatives here. See? Okay, so now let me show you the homozygous versus heterozygous. Okay. So now you would normally come and just cross them off. So D is by itself. You either have D or you don't have D. So that one can stay crossed off. Now we're okay. going to, our next one is positive is C. So who is big C's partner? Is the, is the little C? Little C. So we've got big C and little C here. So uh -huh. is that homozygous or heterozygous? Is that? Uh, you say it's one of the each yep well, so it is well um one of each is heterozygous but the way that the panels are written out um if you have um if you have positives in both then that's heterozygous so positive positive is hetero Whoops. Doesn't really look like hetero. There's heterozygous for positive and positive. Okay. And then I'll if you have it. a positive and a negative, that's homo. Uh, you have a positive, negative, positive, negative is homozygous. Yep. Okay, so then this is to this heterozygous. Well, is there a positive and a negative or a positive and a positive? Is positive and positive. For big C and little c? Uh-huh. Well, here's your big C right uh -huh. here. And here's your little c. Oh, right here is then is homozygous in there. Homozygous. So if it's homozygous, you can cross it off. Uh-huh. So then our next one is going to be little e. So who is little e's partner? It's big e. Okay, so here's little e and here's big e. So is it a positive and a negative or a positive and a positive? Positive and negative. So is that homozygous or heterozygous? Uh, homozygous. Homozygous. So you can cross it off. You can cross okay. off the homozygous, but not the heterozygous. So then okay. our next one is N. So who is N's partner? The, which one? M and N? Yep, M, M and N's N. partner. Uh -huh. So is that homozygous or heterozygous? Let me see. Right there is uh, homozygous. Homozygous. So you can cross off N. And uh -huh. so what's our next one? You do the next one for me. The next one, the S, the big S and little S. Okay. And they're, uh, uh, they're in there is homozygous. So can you cross so it off? We cross the little S. Yeah. Next then. is P1. Now P1 is by itself, so you can cross it off. You'll be able? Yep, it's okay. by, uh, it, he's by itself. Okay. Okay, Leah, Lee A, and Lee B. They're partners, right? Yep, they're partners. They're partners. Okay. Now it's uh, on that one, this head of sag, this, yeah, the homozygous. Homozygous? Homozygous, yeah. So we cross. The L E B, yeah. Okay. L -E -B and what's our next positive? Is the next one 
The next positive is a little K. Yep, and his name is Solano. So you've uh -huh. got Solano and Kel. So you got your big K and your little K. So he's homozygous. Yep, so you can cross that one off. Okay, and the next one is FYA, FYB. How do you That's call this? Is that one's going to be your Duffy? Is Duffy? Okay. Yep. So this is a uh, homozygous because it's one positive and one negative. Correct. So we cross it up, the FY, A. And then the next one is JKA and JKB. Yep, and so that's and they're, and, and they're homozygous too? Yep. So we cross it up? Yep. Now, if what if these were both plus right here, would you be able to cross No. Correct. So normally, if you go in and do it without the homozygous, heterozygous um, aspect, you would be able to cross them both off um, if they were both positive. But since we're only crossing out the ones that are homozygous antibodies, um, then you can't cross out either one. Okay. Now for the next row, um, which is the next row you can work with? It's on the number three. Let me see. Yep, yeah, row number three. three. Okay. We already canceled the C. Yep. The D and the C, so we don't need to worry about it, right? Correct. Okay, now we haven't crossed that, the E. We're looking for right here the M. Okay. No, we don't have an, we don't have another one before. No. Nope. No, the E. Look at right here the E. Oh, but it's a, we already crossed the E. Yep. So right there. The M. The M is, is right now, well, it's homozygous because it's the N, right? Yep, homozygous for M. Uh-huh, so we cancel. And now our next one is S. So who's uh -huh. S's partner? Big S partner? Little, is yeah, a little S, so it's, uh -huh. right, that is him, homozygous, so we cancel that too. Yep. So the next one is the, what is the letter? L-E-A and L-E-B. Right there, next one. On that, so that's those two. Lewis. Oh, yeah, the another one is the P-1. Yep. Okay, that we cannot cross because they're the same, the same. Exactly, so this one's special. So they are heterozygous, so mm -hmm. we're not gonna cross them off. And then the the case there they still have two X. Oh let me see. Right okay, I, I went down. Okay, the K, the little K, but we already <laughs> canceled the little K, so we're not going to do nothing there. Correct. Okay, the next one. We have F F Y V and F Y A. And we have a heterozygous and FBY B, so we cancel that. Homozygous for FBB. Yeah, yeah, homozygous, yeah. uh-huh. So we cancel that. Yep. And the next one is JKA and JKO is homozygous. So we cancel the JKA. Correct. And now what? Can we do can we cancel out any more? And no, because they're uh, positive. Correct. So now anything um, that, nothing else can be eliminated. So up mm -hmm. here, it's asking um, what antibodies are not eliminated. So our ones that are not eliminated are big E. Uh -huh. little, let me do it so I don't mark out there. So we've got big E. We've got big C. Or I mean, little uh -huh. C. Um, and then your um, LEA, Kel. Mm -hmm. So these are the ones that are not eliminated. 
and uh -huh. now what antibodies are present, now we can look at these results and see which ones match up well. So out of these two, oops, sorry. So out of these two yeah. results and your LEA and KEL, so you look at them going down and see which one of these matches these results over here. It have to be like a zero, right? I mean. So look at the AHG first. So look at, match your positives. So panel cell one, you've got a positive over here. So which mm -hmm. of these have positives with the same the the panel the panel one okay the the e have a positive let me do purple okay yep give me just a second so oh. oops <laughs> oh no just a second i don't know what i did to it whatever i did to it i didn't mean to do to it Yeah, the computer sometimes have them on my. Yep, or maybe I did do it and wasn't paying attention enough. Um, let me see. Okay, sorry about that. I think it's going to make me. Okay. Let me cross them off real quick. Okay, so we have the B off. We've got, I think we can't really see. Huh? Let me do it real quick. Okay, on um, this panel she gave it to us, they have uh, on the end and they have the instant spinning and the 37 and the uh -huh. a AHC and what is the double C for? Uh, the control. Or okay. your check cells. Your check cells. Okay. Uh, even they have even this the check cell should be uh we're the not gonna worry okay. about it. We're not no. gonna worry about it on those, right? Because she put a two plus, two plus, and three plus. Yeah, correct. That should be positive. So if that's positive and everything else is negative, then you can still go across and do it. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it for that. That's what I was, I was kind of also all lost in there. Yeah, so the check cells are okay. Um, they should be positive, but the rest of them should be negative if you're going to cross anything out. Okay. Okay, so now our ones that are... Okay, so the ones that are left, we've got E, we've e. got Big E, Little C, uh -huh. and then um, Lewis A, and Kel. So now you match these up and see which ones fit, um, fit the reaction. So row one is positive. So uh -huh. is it positive? The E, the E have two plus. Yep. But I'm not in there, but even 
it counts all the way, right? It still counts all the way. We wouldn't go all the way. Uh, we're yeah. just looking at the ones that um, that we did not mark off. So Kel, okay. K here um, is uh -huh. negative, so that doesn't match. Um, uh -huh. Lewis A matches. It's got a positive, and then uh -huh. little C has a positive, so little C matches. And E uh -huh. does not match right now. Now we're uh -huh. going to go to the second row. Now these are all negative. So is your your Kel's negative, so that matches. Um, your Le your Lewis is negative, that matches. It matches. Your little C does that match? Yeah, let me see. My little C. Uh huh. Yeah, they have one positive. Well, it's got the the negative on this row though, right? See these uh -huh. are all negative. Uh huh. And so that one matches, and big E matches. Yeah. Okay, so now we go to our next row. So it's all negative. So we go to our big K. So these are just the ones that we didn't that we didn't cross out. Okay. Um, and now your um, LEA is that match? LEA, no, not on that row. It's positive. Nope. Yeah, not on that row. A little C does that match? The little C. Let me see. Mm, mm, this yes is zero is O yeah. and the little E as well. Or biggie. Yep. The biggie. Uh-huh. Okay, so then your next one is positive. So is your Kel uh, match? My Kel, oh, let me see on take. Yes. So that's a match. Um is your Lewis a match? L E A? N no. Is your Hello. little C? Yes. Little C is a match. And your big E? Yes. Yep. And now we know that the rest of them are positive all the way down. So the rest are positive. Uh -huh. So Kel, uh -huh. we can start underline any that are positive. So there's only one more match in that row, in that column. Um, so now for Lewis, there's a few more. Oops, let me not do that one. That one wasn't in the right row. Okay, so that's positive. That's positive. That's positive. So there are three matches in that column. Now for little c, there are, the rest of those are positive. So they all match, yes. right? Yes. Now, how about big e? The big E is just one e, one positive and the rest of it negative, so those yep. don't match. So now you can come and look at these and see how many match it like that. Okay. So Kel has that, one, two, three, four matches. Uh-huh. He's got four. Now um, your LEA has five matches. Mm-hmm. And then your big E has four matches. Mm -hmm. But now your little C matches for every single one. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. So that is going to be our antibody that's present. Uh -huh. So now we know that it's going to be little C is our correct answer. Mm -hmm. And eliminate the other ones. But can we, which ones can we eliminate and which ones can we not eliminate? So here's the questions up here. What antibodies are present? So our pr antibodies present is going to be little c. Uh-huh. And then which ones are not eliminated? Can you tell me which ones that you can eliminate? The, the one, the five? You've got your... I mean, I mean the little E, the big E. Yep, the big E. Uh huh. And the uh, LA. Yep, your LEA. LA. Your uh -huh. Kel. Anything Kel. that you are uh -huh. not able to cross off. So after this point uh -huh. here, after the point here uh -huh. where you cross them off, because um, all your cross off all the positive antibodies for negative result rows. Uh -huh. After that, that's all the ones that you cannot eliminate. If you yeah. didn't eliminate them this way, you cannot eliminate them. So uh -huh. 
you would report that out is, you know, probably little c, but cannot eliminate big E, mm -hmm. L-E-A, Kel. So sometimes yep. there's a lot of them. Sometimes there's a few of them. Uh -huh. um, but that's how you'd report that. And then you can go get anti little c and run it with the, uh, run it with the patient sample and then mm -hmm. decide for sure. Yeah, that's, that's anti little c. Oh, okay. So when you put the report in here on the, on the paper she gave to us, if it's something similar like that, you just put it anti little c, but I have another one matches also. You're if you have another, another one that matches too, you can put like little c and, um, you can put like, let's say it's little c and big e. Um, let me mm -hmm. share this one again. So let's say your results here um, match. So your HG here is stronger because little c is, a, uh, is uh, uh -huh. one of those where it is stronger for HG. But um, let's say you had in this row, so row four and five, let's say you had three plus here. Well, I guess it would be. Yeah, let's say you had on, plus, on one. Uh -huh. three plus here and three plus here for rows four and five. And then the rest were the same. You could look uh -huh. over in here and say, okay, well, it was one plus two plus for all these positives, but four and five were stronger than the rest of them. Uh -huh. So you could that could also indicate the presence of a big E too. So then uh -huh. in that case, you would put little c. A little e, a big E. Big E, and then cannot rule out a LEA, Kel, Mm -hmm. LEA and count. Okay. And I rule out. Okay. 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 Now let me go in and pull up uh, some of the homework ones. 